I think the message in the last few days is very clear coming from Malaysians of all walks of life. Uh, nation first. We will have a first female Deputy Prime Minister in our history. Yep. We also have a number of uh, calibre uh, incoming MPs. What can Malaysians, especially women, can expect from them and their voices in Parliament? I think this time around, you have a lot more uh, young women MPs being sent to Parliament. So from the DAP, uh, there's me, there's Yobi Yin, there is also Suki from Johor. Uh, and, you know, Maria Chin. Maria Chin representing the civil society, uh, former chair of Berse, will now be in Parliament. So I think we will expect some of these uh, issues that have been uh, neglected or not as loud uh, highlighted in Parliament years before uh, would get the attention this time around. Me, as a young mother, I think I'll be looking at issues uh, affecting children, education, you know, issues like stateless children. Some of these issues, if you don't deal with it now, it will come back in 10 years' time to bite uh, Malaysia. Let's talk about the incoming government. There's some um, comments or criticism that the incoming government is lacks experience. Uh, what is your comment on that? We have experience now to govern uh, in at the state level we have 10 years of practice we also have the former cabinet members as part of the new cabinet so you have uh, Tun Dr Mahade very experienced former Prime Minister uh, Tan Sri Muhyiddin Yassin then you have Anwar Ibrahim who will be giving his input uh, to Pakatan Harapan therefore I think this time around is a good combination uh, and to be very honest if you want to compare the former BN cabinet and now experience is no longer an issue that people want to see uh, in our cabinet they just want to see integrity and they want to see good governance in place. With regards to social media, it's really helped um, in some ways Pakatan Harapan's campaign. Moving forward, because since the results came out, there's been a lot of developments and then some misinformation among the mix as well. How do you hope to see the role of social media and media um, in our country? I think the first step is to educate social media users. Uh, a lot of people use and of course the, the button to retweet to share loosely use uh, how do we educate senior citizens who now suddenly feel so liberated you know all of them I have parents at home they are always glued to their phone okay and they will send in the family chat group whatever video they receive they don't verify they'll just share uh, how do you deal with um people who have no freedom before this to have to have access to information and suddenly now find so much information and they are just so passionate about sharing them how do you draw that balance so I think Malaysia is in a very new and interesting season now where I think a lot of education must take place what's your message for Malaysians post G14 uh, because I think there should be a call for close the ranks between the political parties and yeah. also the yeah. I, th I think the message in the last few days is very clear coming from Malaysians of all walks of life uh, nation first They want to see the nation Get back on track uh, And therefore Our economy Must become strong again There must be System put in place To fight corruption 